And Hulk. <sighs> Smash. Oh no. Oh no. Oh my god, bro. Oh hell no, man. What the fuck, man? The Hulk is one of the strongest members of the Avengers and easily the most chaotic. He's like a natural disaster, leaving destruction in his wake, which is exactly why so many people love him. Know me well, because I am the hammer. That's uh, naked. He's very naked. When this big green dude starts rampaging, you either leave the planet or pray that he falls asleep. I have to get off this planet. But in Infinity War, when the Avengers are literally fighting for their lives and trying to keep the Infinity Stones away from Thanos, the Hulk straight up refuses to come out. Oh, no! Dude, you're embarrassing me in front of the wizard. I'm sorry, I, I, I can't. Is it because he got scared after getting his green ass get beaten to oblivion by this purple dude? And his name is John C. Well, today, we're gonna dig deep and try to answer the question, why did this unstoppable machine just suddenly refuse to fight in Avengers Infinity War? When the Hulk was first introduced in the Incredible Hulk movie, most people thought it'd be your typical superhero flick where the hero saves the day and it's happily ever after. But nope, what they got was more of a horror movie vibe. Whenever Hulk would show up, it was epic. He was terrifying, like an unstoppable machine that will mow down everything in his path. But now we got whatever the hell is this. What the f is this piece of shit? But then Infinity War happened, and no one expected to see this giant green dude with seemingly infinite strength get demolished by Thanos so easily. And do you know the worst part? Thanos didn't even use the Power Stone, it was basically just a warm-up for him. After that, we barely saw the Hulk again. He popped up in Endgame as Professor Hulk. But let's be honest, that was just Banner with no trace of the actual Hulk. So the big question is, did Hulk get PTSD after getting whipped by Thanos like a dog? Is that why he wouldn't come out? Well, not exactly, and to answer this, we need to go back to the first Avengers movie. Here, Hulk was still treated like a monster, and S.H.I.E.L.D. even had a specialized cage on the helicarrier in case Bruce lost control. You rented my room. The cell was just in, in case you needed to kill me, but you can't. People, even his team, the Avengers are scared of him, and always calling him Bruce. His name is Hulk, not Banner, so every time someone called him Bruce Banner, he gets angry. We are not your enemy's Banner. <laughs> oh! He needs some milk! You're stronger than her. You're smarter than her. You're Bruce Banner. But when Captain America acknowledged this and gave Hulk some respect, what happened? Hulk listened. And Hulk. <sighs> Smash. That's all he really wanted, to be treated like Hulk and not just an angry version of Bruce Banner. <laughs> What's going on? Bro, who got you smiling like that? Like... In Age of Ultron, Hulk kept helping the team, but everything went south when Wanda messed with his mind. You listen to me? That little witch is messing with your mind. He thought people didn't hate him anymore, but because of one person, all his hard work vanished, and people started hating him again. I know you're angry. No, oh, we're way past that. I could chuck the life out of you and never change a shade. That's why after one final sacrifice, he let the Quinjet take him into space. At that point, I'm pretty sure Hulk was trying to end himself. He didn't know he'd land on Sakaar. He probably thought he'd just die from lack of oxygen or starvation. It shows Hulk is actually a good guy deep inside and he was ready to sacrifice his life to keep Earth safe from him. And honestly, this sacrifice should have made him worthy to lift Mjolnir, if you ask me. Anyway, after that big brain move, we don't see Hulk again until Thor Ragnarok where we find out that after Age of Ultron, he crash landed on Sakaar, where, for the first time in his life, he wasn't treated like a monster.
He was treated like a warrior, he even has his own apartment. People cheered for him, they even create a parade just for him and Hulk loved it. He loved it so much so that when Thor tried to get him to leave, the Hulk refuses until he accidentally turned back into Banner. From Hulk's perspective, when he did good on Earth, people still hated him, but on Sakaar, they threw festivals in his honor. Then, when he finally goes back to being Bruce and helps Thor, what happens? He gets dragged back again just to fight for them. Once again, they treated him like a weapon, their personal attack dog on leash, that only get released when needed. He couldn't live his life. Every time Bruce called him, it was to fight or, in the case of Thanos, to get smashed. We have a Hulk. Mm -hmm. I have an army. We have a Hulk. I'm tired, boss. Despite all of that, Hulk still tried to help. He tried to save everyone on Thor's ship, but got absolutely destroyed by the old purple dude. Look at the mask of my boy. And when they returned to Earth, Bruce kept calling Hulk to fight for him like he was some kind of slave. Don't tell me what to do. That's why Hulk didn't want to come out anymore, Bruce only called him when he needed something. He treated Hulk like a disease, even though Hulk always came through when they needed a fighter. For years I've been treating the Hulk like he's some kind of disease, something to get rid of. Hulk just got tired of it, so he chose not to come out anymore and it's not because he got scared of Thanos. You don't scare me! I fear no man, but that thing... And that, my friends, is the real reason why Hulk didn't show up in Avengers Infinity War. If you've got any other thoughts or if there's something you think I got wrong, feel free to drop a comment and I'll be reading them all. Thank you for watching and as always, if you don't like this theory, go f*** yourself.